everyone, welcome to another video from Igne. Uh, today we will be discussing Alliance X Edition. Uh, this is a really bad example because as you can see, I mean both my Alliance and the other Alliance doesn't really have anybody. <laughs> um, but we'll go ahead and explain the best ways to go about uh, AE in my, uh, in my opinion and tell you what to focus on. Um, now before we get started, uh, again I will drop a Discord link down in the comments below and, um, and in the description and you can join it. It is there as a community asset and tool uh, so there's absolutely no bullying, uh, no being mean, anything like that uh, or else you'll be immediately kicked and banned. So with, here let me go ahead and send that in. Okay so with this let me go ahead and send my marches into everything real quick okay so whenever you first get on here the gathering is always going to get the most points so for gathering you want to focus on the tertiary agaves there's one on each on each side of the map at the main center point this main center point, the one that I teleported to, <coughs> is the one <coughs> that you want to focus on capturing no matter what. Because it gives the least distance for your farmers to be able to get there to get the most points. The attackers do not really get the most points at all. So what I do is we all usually will focus, or at least a couple fighters will focus on this middle one to make sure... We capture it and then I will have secondary fighters go to this one and to this one reason being is so that we can try to make sure basically that nobody's able to capture anything um, so with that being said after this initial one is captured the best areas to be able to port it's usually like right down in this corner somewhere because the tertiaries are right there so either the top corner or bottom cor corner uh, I usually like to be right in this area to be able to uh, gather now when you got a dead one like this you can also I mean as soon as you capture the center one you can jump into there to be able to get your points real quick and um, move on after that um, if, if it's a really close one a close fight I would suggest make sure you capture this center ta uh, tower or uh, resource tunnel and have everybody jump there that can to be able to gather now if you don't have anything to be able to capture these two points where you see all the, the blue dots are the ones that you want to jump to because those are the closest ones to the agaves now when you are setting up your marches to be able to gather you want to use carriers and you want to make sure that in every single one of your marches you have one of the masters so mimicry master reap master and uh, shikri master obviously one march is not going to be able to do it um, and the reason being is because all three of those give you an increased march speed so that will help you get there faster get back faster etc etc so what I would do is, and I'll switch out um, when I go do the gathering. So like this would be my carrier march that I'll run um, Shikri with. All these will be switched over to having carriers in them. And what I will do is I'll send my fastest and then say my slowest one, which this will probably be it, my slowest one. So I'll send my fastest, as soon as it hits, I'll send my slowest one. On the other one, I'll do the same thing to where I'm sending two of the marches that have a master in it. So that way I am continuously bouncing between tertiary agaves to make sure that I'm always gathering when I uh, hit it. So it, I always have one march going to, one march coming back. Um, that's how you accumulate the most points. Now when it comes to these other fortresses, which are the aromic conjects, honestly, a lot of people focus on these because you know it's, it's supposedly a lot of points or whatever but if you think about it it's really not because it doesn't give you 
any help um, for the gathering side except for for the increased speed of points after occupation so really what i would say is when it comes to those um you really want to be in point denial mode which i'll go more into that uh right now so one of the favorite ways that i tend to play um when i'm doing alliance expedition is i will have my team almost be completely point denial our only focus is going to be to, to capture the center one and point to now everything else, which means we don't capture it and they don't capture it. That way they can never get any points um, from either capturing any buildings or be able to jump there to get closer to be able to gather. So point denial is one of the best systems to use in Alliance Expedition. And I'll show you here in a, a minute because we should be, yeah, about 26 seconds. I'll go ahead and show you uh, for switching over marches and whereabouts to sit but um, again like I said point denial it's all about point denial so let me go ahead and <coughs> do that wait till my last one so, and you can see people are already pouring into the, those bottom two corners Um, should be any second. Oh, boy, it still has 30 seconds. <laughs> now, yeah, usually at this point, the fighters, they would be focusing more on point denial, meaning going after these other areas instead of doing what I'm about to do. But it kind of works out because I'm able to show you what to do as a gather. All right, so in there, go ahead and jump in there. I would switch all these over to carrier. Um, and since I don't really care about the actual ants themselves, Okay, so now what I would do is here's the tertiary, gather, bounce over to this other side, go ahead and send it to gather. Because you get five minutes to do this. And see, with my march timer up here, as soon as it hits, I go ahead and send my next one. Same one over here, it should hit about the same time. Boom. And that way, now you have a continuous stream because now I'll come back over here. And as soon as it hits, I'll be able to send my pro march. And offsetting it to where you have the one slow march doing it and then the one um, fast march or the three fast marches is the best way to be able to stack up so you're not really missing a beat when it comes to being able to send your marches out. And well, that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I hope that it helped you all and we shall see you in the next one. Egg out.